25 year old Martin Lindsay of Belfast Northern Ireland has been in control of this fight from the opening bell to, to use an axiom from your sport he's beat pitching or he, there's a shutout happening there's a shutout happening here he's just having his way with uh, with Silveria throwing the jab throwing combinations are really I'm really impressed with this kid Joe he's done really well so far so here we go with the sixth and final round Martin Lindsay has gone the distance in his last two fights. His last KO was against Chris Hooper in Andersontown Leisure Center in Belfast. Yeah, he certainly doesn't look like a power puncher. There's no doubt about it. He's a guy, and that's why he has developed the skills that you see before you, where he throws combinations, where he boxes, where he sets everything up, where he uses punch to dis punches to distract you, to throw other punches. He's not a big banger, but boy, that's why he throws combinations, and that's why he's able to work at the level of intensity that he worked that he's worked here tonight. So Barrio looks like he wants to pick up the pace a little here in the final round and a good left hand there for the first time that we've seen uh, from Silveria, really. Uppercut by Lindsay missed. And to start this sixth round, the crowd was appreciative. A nice round of applause as they started the sixth round because they know what they've seen here. A good performance by two good fighters. No clinching, no grabbing, no hugging, just good boxing. And that's exactly what you're seeing from Martin Lindsay. So Varia trying to get inside. This has been the most aggressive round that we've seen from the Mexican fighter. And, and Lindsay's almost letting him be aggressive as if to say, well, I've won the first five rounds. But you know what? Don't quit. What, don't fix what's not broken. Keep doing what got you here. Keep throwing the combinations. Close the round out. Win six rounds out of six. Don't win five out of six when you can win six out of six. After the round in the books. Good right hand by Silveria there. See, by doing, by sitting back and trying to just protect your lead, you give opportunities and you gave confidence to your opponent. Don't do it. Keep shutting him down. Keep backing him up like you were doing. Use that jab. Throw the combinations. Bring that left hand up underneath, which was all the things that were working for him through the first five rounds of the fight, Joe. Good left jab there by Lindsay. Under a minute. This is the least active we've seen Lindsay be in the six rounds. And he, right. and he doesn't have to be. I mean, he can just keep throwing those four punch combinations that we've watched him throw. It would appear this will go to a decisions card. But if your scorecard is accurate, and I think it is, it will be a win for the Northern Ireland fighter. Although this certainly has been the best round for Silveria. Only because Lindsay's let it be the best round for him just by not doing the work that he should be doing. Ten seconds left in the fight. And now Lindsay opens up with a couple of haymakers and there's the end of the fight. Martin Lindsay of Belfast Northern Ireland. Jose Silveria of Meridia, Yucatan, Mexico. And uh, certainly I think Lindsay carried most of that fight, although it was a good round for Silveria to close out. You know, a good round only because Joe Lindsay didn't do anything. So now as, as a fighter who's now 7-0, this is something you've got to learn from in this. You don't turn around and sit back in the last round. I mean, you, if you do that against somebody who could bang a little bit, he'd be in big trouble. He shouldn't have done that. He should have worked harder in the last round. Something to learn in every fight. We'll be back with the decision from Rama after this. Back here at Casino Rama and awaiting on the decision. Martin Lindsay of Belfast, Northern Ireland, Jose Silveria, Marida, Mexico. And a look at the Mexican fighter. And uh, in the first five rounds, it was Martin Lindsay being busy and being successful. And being busy throwing punches, three, four punches at a time, surprising him with shots like that, accelerated shots, good quick speed, good combinations. Look, five, six punch flurries from Martin Lindsay. He didn't do it in the last round, in my opinion. It cost him the last Eight round, but nevertheless, a great performance. Let's go to James Jardine. All three judges score the fight the same. They all score the fight 60 to 54 for the winner by unanimous decision from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Martin Lindsay.
So Martin Lindsay improves his record to 8 and 0 on a unanimous decision over Jose Silveria of Moreta, Mexico. Here in Rama, Ontario. Joe, I think a good fight, and I think you're going to be seeing more from Martin Lindsay. He's a well-schooled fighter with a great quality of punches that he throws. He's got every punch in the book. I think we're going to be seeing more of him. Martin Lindsay with a unanimous decision.